Paris presents a huge opportunity for the LDCs and the main vehicle that they can use to articulate their sustainable development needs for finance is really primarily through these things called the INDCs, the Initial Nationally Determined Contributions. When a country ratifies, the INDC is converted to their NDC, so it becomes a formal uh, uh, contribution that's recorded in the registry and as many of the LDCs like the small islands are ratifying quickly this represents an opportunity for them to find investment partners to fund what they've put forward as ways of achieving low carbon climate resilient development. Um, the main challenges are actually converting sometimes these rather visionary plans into actual practical finance packages um, and then seeking funding for those. So it's almost like you need funding in order to get the next tranche of funding. And many of the smaller countries, many of the LDCs, often have capacity gaps. They often don't have direct access to the funding that is now beginning to become available. So they have to use donors and partners, uh, technical assistance, resource packages to do that. But there's also a huge um, move to try and get as many entities cr accredited to have direct access to the finance under the GCF, which is the Green Climate Fund. Well, the next stage is for them to, as I said, convert these um, plans, essentially, these uh, potential um, uh, plans for uh, greenhouse gas reductions that are compatible into national policies and then national projects, and then to get finance for that. But in terms of the bigger arc of what's happening under Paris, the LDCs have also been very much champions of the 1.5 degree pathway and that, that being kept open. And sadly, none of the, uh, uh, all of the NDCs added up don't really add up to the well below 2 degree 1.5 pathway. So for all countries, including LDCs, they would be looking to examine how to increase and enhance the level of effort that globally is put forward uh, in, in 2018 and 2023 when the reviews happen. I think Paris, Paris is a treaty which um, has taken more than 20 years to get onto the, the legal books as it were. Um, the fact that 177 countries have already signed it, uh, nearly 18 countries have ratified already. We have uh, announcements from another 40 or odd countries saying that they will ratify this year. It means that it may have a really serious chance of entering into force within this year or possibly early next year, which would be unprecedented. And that's something that has surprised, I think, countries that are dependent on fossil fuels. It surprised the fossil fuel industries that this rapid, very rapid acceptance of a globally const carbon constrained world is taking place. I think many are absolutely still astounded that countries agreed the 1.5 to strive towards the 1.5 um, target, as well as the well below two degrees target, because they hadn't anticipated that. And what's going on now in many um, fossil fuel companies, boards are having to consider whether their businesses are really in line. Are, are, are their businesses and is their business model compatible with a two degree slash 1.5 pathway? And many of them are finding that a challenge.